The Delta variant is the dominant strain of the COVID-19 virus spreading across the country right now, but scientists are keeping an eye on another variant known as Mu. NBC4's Anusha Rasta live in Tustin at a community health clinic for us with reaction to news this new strain could be vaccine resistant. Anusha. Carolyn, local health experts say it is still too early to know for sure if that variant is resistant to vaccines, which is why this community health clinic is not making any changes to its vaccination policy. In fact, they are actually expanding their testing and vaccination operations to this bigger lot, so they are ready for a possible surge in demand should booster shots be available by September 20th. Over the course of the pandemic, the COVID-19 virus has transformed again and again. And now there is a new mutation called the Mu variant that the World Health Organization is keeping an eye on. Currently, it's listed as what we call a variant of interest, meaning that it has the potential to either be more transmissible or have other um, more serious problems, but we don't have enough information yet to make that determination. Health officials believe the Mu variant is highly contagious and could possibly be resistant to COVID-19 vaccines. But the medical director of Tustin-based Community Health Clinic, Families Together of Orange County, says that's not a reason to avoid getting vaccinated. Well, I think it's still way too early to worry about vaccine resistance. That's right now just completely hypothetical. So I don't want to do anything, anybody to get any idea that getting a vaccine is not a good idea. LA County's health department reports at least 167 cases of the Mu variant between June and August, most of them discovered in July. But according to the Hospital Association of Southern California, the current surge in cases is driven primarily by the highly transmissible Delta variant, which remains the most concerning strain. Dr. Karen Edwards from UC Irvine agrees. The Delta variant is the predominant variant that's out there, and that's the one that we should currently be worried about. The Mu variant was first found in Colombia back in January and detected in 39 countries since. In L.A. County, the good news is that hospitalization rates are falling, but Dr. Edwards says that could change following the Labor Day holiday weekend. Either way, doctors say the best way to protect yourself against any variant is to get vaccinated. Reporting live in Tustin, Anusha Rasta, NBC4 News.